about a year since I posted um, a video of my makeup area. Um, for those of you who have been subscribed from for some time and have been watching, you already know the setup and maybe have seen the video. I have moved some things around, so I just wanted to share that with you all. For those who are new to my channel, um, my beauty area is separated in two corners of my dining room. So one corner has my vanity, which is actually a computer desk with shelves that I ordered from Amazon. And I decorated this entire wall and made it my own. And then the other corner <laughs> is um, where I have my bookcase. I have a rolling cart organizer. And then I have an Adeptus cart as well that I purchased from Walmart. Um, this... Dining room serves many purposes. I work from home, so I do have my desk <laughs> set up here as well. And then the desk that I work from seats to. Um, because remember some time ago, or not that long ago, we were all, or most of us were virtual workers. And our children were also virtual um, students. So this desk seats two people, so it takes up a lot of space. And then it's also a dining room. So I have to have a dining table in here as well. So today I am only going to show the corners that I have um, been able to use for my beauty areas. I'll try to be as detailed as possible. I will link as many items down below that I can. Um, some things I've had for some time and some things have been accumulated over a period of time or within like the past three years or so but I'll try to give as much information as I can. I am working with a new microphone, so I'm hoping that my sound is good, hoping that my lighting is good. Um, getting this together is an ongoing, tedious process. Um, if you are new to this and you're not tech savvy, it takes a little bit of trial and error. So please bear with me. I thank you all for your patience. I thank you for tuning in. I thank you for subscribing. Remember to turn on your notifications so you'll know when I post something new. I'm trying to be more consistent and hopefully you all are liking the content that I bring to you. If there's anything particular that you see during this video that you want to know more about or any videos that I post, make sure that you're leaving those um, concerns or questions down in the comments. Until next time, stay blessed and blush. We are going to start with the right side of the room, um, which is where my vanity area is. Most of the pictures that I have on the wall came from um, Burlington's or Diddy's. The flowers that you see, those were purchased from Amazon. These black shelves I purchased from, I think I have a set that I purchased from Dollar Tree. Um, they're on the other wall, I'll show them. But these came from Family Dollar. They were a set of three, I think, for $5. So there's just a little picture up top. The only drama I enjoy is in my lashes. Um, I have like um, a shelf that's dedicated to glitter, I have some glitter brushes that I haven't used, a frame, just a little composition book back there, some Chanel perfume, and some glitter nail polish. These are just empty boxes of some of my favorite scents. And um, this is just a, um, I guess it would be like a paper holder um, that's in the shape of nail polish. Most of my organizers or are, are <laughs> um, acrylic organizers, and they were either purchased from Burlington's, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, or Ross. This mirror is my mirror that I use to do uh, my eyebrows and to put my lashes on. This was a gift to me. 
this is actually a bottle like a, a bottled water holder but i purchased it with the idea of placing my larger compacts in here so right now it is stationary on my vanity right here this is a three-part organizer that were purchased at separate times probably from separate places up top i keep um, the foundations that i grab that i'm most likely to reach for i have some scissors um, some eye products or what do you call them um, eye tools i have some pencils here lip pencils eyeliners there are some razors in the back and some spoolies back there and this is a mirror that I purchased from Amazon. In this bottom drawer, um, I just have my handheld fan, um, my mixing palette. There's a compact mirror. And these are some miniature brushes for travel. This drawer has my moisturizers and my um, primers that I am currently using. I have some milk, uh, Elf, Maybelline, Catrice, Bobbi Brown, Neutrogena, NYX, um, Fenty. And then this drawer right now is my everyday drawer. And some of the products that are on my um, vanity, like these powders and the blush, they will be uh, moved in this drawer as well. But I have some Jaclyn products um, blushes powders uh, face palette um, this is some uh, Uma Uma beauty trip and smooth powder in here there's two face palettes from Colourpop there is a powder from Sephora and a glowish bronzer uh, this is a baked blush from Milani liquid blush from rare beauty i have a bronzer putty bronzer and putty blush from elf this is a setting powder from nars and my bronzer from fenty right here i just have a little vanity mirror that i purchased from amazon as well i'm trying to see if i'm going to keep this mirror or if i want a larger mirror this mirror can be mounted on the wall it actually was at one time so that's where those little studs come from or you can use it with the platform that it came with the organizers that the mirror is sitting on um, is serving two purposes one is helping the height of my mirror when I'm seated here and then I'm using it for storage as well this first drawer has most of my um, brow products um, and lash products so I have some um, lash glue some um, brow lift brow, brow gel brow glue i have some um products from morphe that are used to sculpt your brows uh, wonder brow from aoa there's a brow kit from makeup revolution and one from wet and wild the second drawer has um, some of my primers. Yeah, some of my pr uh, primers, correctors. This is a cut crease canvas. I have some shadow shields in here, some tape, glitter glue. These are some um, multi sticks. So I use them for watering or uh, uh, putting color on my waterline. That's what I mainly use them for. Um, what else is in here? I think that's it. The last drawer is um, mascara, eyeliner, and I think that's it. I, de I really need a declutter. Let me take that out because that's open. I need to close that up. I really need to do a declutter because most of these products are probably dried out. Um... And once I stock, well, I have a, um, I actually have a drawer to replace, um, to replace, uh, my mascaras and things, but I want to see which ones in here are still good before opening up new products. Cause I want, I don't want to do this again. Um, up here, I have some products that are almost empty. So I'm 
keeping them right here so that I'll see them and know that I need to use them up. Right now I have my remote for my ring light and my camera. Um, these are just some sponges that I use daily along with my brushes and it's about time for those to be washed. Okay, on this side. I have some pigments. These are some eyeshadow creams that I bought from Amazon. I haven't had the opportunity to try them yet. And this is just a tool that's supposed to, well not supposed to, it does help you to do a cut crease. I think that's all this in here. The tools to pick up the, um, I can never think of the name of these. Can it be the tools to pick up the um, glitter right here. And then in this drawer, I just have some um, baked shadows from Shop Miss A. Um, there's some pigments in here. These are like some glitter shadows from Elf. And I think these came from the beauty supply store. And then I actually have some press glitters, some chunky glitters. Um, some Super Shock Shadows from ColourPop. Okay, that's all in that little divider or organizer. Um, I do have my computer, my personal computer here. Um, sometimes I edit videos on here or um, once I upload the video, I'll go to YouTube Studio to make any changes that I want to make through here. These are just some items that I use today for another video. Over here, I have a tower with concealers in it. Okay, yes, so these are my concealers. At the top, I just have, how can I get it? A little container that has lipsticks that I'm, that I'm grabbing or that I can grab really quickly. I do have another area where I house my lip products and I'll show that, but these are just ones that are here and it's easier for me when I'm doing a look and I don't have to get up. So the bottom is empty. I have some Sephora. Um, what is this? JCAT. These are Too Faced Item Beauty. And these two are from Rare Beauty. Um, these are the LA Girl Pro Conceals. I have some Born to Glow from NYX. Those are Sephora Make No Mistake um, concealers. These are Fenty, Morphe, and Tarte. These are the mini concealers, and this is the regular size concealer from Juvia's Place. And here there are some Milani and some Essence concealers. Essence is really pretty good. Um, what is in here? Revolution, Maybelline, Catrice, Elf. This is Black Opal. I really don't use this too much. It doesn't have a lot of coverage to me, um, but I keep it because um, it can be used to um, highlight your brow or brow bone. These are different shades from e.l.f. These are from NK Makeup or Nikka K. This is Sephora, and then these three are from Kiss. These are really good. And then these are from the Pretty Fresh um, collection from ColourPop. So that is all of my concealers. I do have um, a Lazy Susan with some different brushes on here. I try to put um, the brushes that I'm going to pull from the most here. I do have a lot of brushes, but... The ones in this section are pretty much um, used more often. I don't know who used that. Probably my daughter. Um, but um, I try to keep those there. Um, I use these for sodas. I think they're meant for something else. I po um, purchased them from the dollar store, but I use them as coasters. These are my nail pro um, products. This is um, my per just some perfumes that I can quickly grab from here if I'm getting ready at my vanity instead of in my bedroom. 
and this is some of my electronics i have a mirror a mini ring light uh, my candle lighter i think that's it in there up here is where i keep my juvia's place collection so i have some of the um rebel palettes some of the allure palettes um, some of their six pan palettes i have some face palettes um, some of the larger blush palettes highlighters just all things juvia all things juvia are here um, this is just a pencil holder that i use for some pink brushes i don't use those brushes this is um tape for um your eyeshadow that's a candle from Bath and Body Works. This is the highlighter in the Barbie palette that I purchased from ColourPop. This is just a little sign, some perfume, and a makeup bag from Bath and Body Works. Up top, I have a dream sign. I have a letter, gold letter carrier where I keep my Morphe, larger Morphe palettes. There's some additional palettes right here that are kind of, um, that are probably a little bit too bulky to put where I have my other palettes. This is another letter carrier that I just have some miscellaneous items in. Uh, another perfume and some empty boxes of my favorite scents. Um, these are shelves that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. So this came from Amazon. I think it came with the pearls and I bought the brushes separate. Um, this initial came from Amazon. And what okay, this came from this gold stand came from DD's, if I remember correctly. On the bottom, I have um, cleaning products, makeup wipes, some extra sponges. The second shelf has brush cleaner, um, makeup wipe, makeup cleaner, um, alcohol, micellar wa water, and things like that. This just houses some extra brushes. Underneath here, I have some hair products. Um, the gold basket has some capes and my apron in there. There are some refills in that black and white box. I have a carrying, a travel case. Um, the acrylic drawers down here just have miscellaneous stuff in them. Then I have some more pencils down here. I added these little drawers that you can just pull out. And I'm just putting extra products in there. Um, those are just headbands. And then on this side, I have a train case. Just a little two drawer um, container for some additional hair products. And I keep my speaker and my water cup here. This is for my jewelry. I have a pink flat iron and that box is just there. <laughs> There's some more um, hair products in here like my wigs and things. And then I have my stool that was a gift to me as well. Right here I just have uh, my filming equipment in there. Then over here, I have to kind of, I have to move some things to maneuver through some things. <laughs> um, on the top of this bookcase, I have some more of those gold baskets. They were purchased from Dollar Tree, by the way. Um, a perfume box, a golden apple, uh, some faux flowers. Those um, decorative boxes came from... TJ Maxx, I think. <laughs> um, these jewelry holders came from Ross. And I just have like some costume jewelry right here. Just to add something to my beauty space. I have some foundations of different shades here. This is where majority of my palettes are. These are Revolution. And I just have them in these um, storage containers that came from Ross. These are... Cara Beauty. I have some more Cara Beauty back there. And this is just a cup that I like. Um, this was a gift to me. 
And these are real technique brushes that I'm collecting. I like that they are gold with the blush color. Down here, these are ColourPop. And then I just have some drawers with lashes in them. These are Beauty Bay, Morphe, another drawer with lashes. Down here are the bigger um, Morphe palettes. Back here is BH Cosmetics. This little organizer I got from Amazon and it ended up being a little smaller in person than I thought. So the, the items that I have here, I really don't use too much. But these blushes right here from Shop Miss A are very pigmented. Down here is another stackable organizer. And these are some older palettes that I really don't use like that. Um, but I am keeping them for the memories. That's another letter holder. Um, I do put palettes in there, but right now it's just holding <laughs> my miscellaneous items. Um, these pictures, the canvases were sold separate from, oh, did I get these? I think I got them from Amazon and it was, it was cheap. So maybe it was like five of them for $10 or something like that. And I just bought the frames from um, Dollar Tree. This is my Adeptus card, which was purchased from um, Walmart. That's my workspace. Um, <laughs> this is good. Um, it works. I think that I am going to purchase um, an Alex 9 drawer just because there's more drawers. They're longer. Um, and I think they're more durable. Um, I think I've out outgrown this. So that's something that I am uh, contemplating. Um, but chances are I'm going to get it because I need it. <laughs> um, these are my setting sprays. This organizer came from Marsh, uh, no, came from Amazon, and these two came together. And I just have Elf, Urban Decay, Milani, Mac, um, ColourPop, Sephora. What is this one? LA Girl. This is Morphe. This is some uh, uh, face products from Fenty. I can't find my words today. I'm going to have a spray from Mario Badescu. This is something I got in um, Glow Oasis from BoxyCharm. I haven't used that yet. But that's all. So there's a mixture of products here. And then nothing's in these. These are empty. Um, I just try to keep gum. And these are some extra uh, powder puffs. This first drawer um, houses my powders. This is not all of my powders, but these are um, the ones that I pull from the most. So I have some setting powder, some finishing powders. Some pressed powders, uh, Maybelline, Fenty, Huda, Uma. Um, this is Becca, uh, Sephora. That's Maybelline, ColourPop. And that one back there, I think, is Laura Mercier. This is my blush drawer. I need to do a declutter. Um, I have cream blushes, some powder blushes, some blush palettes, um, liquid blushes, just a mixture in this drawer. And see, these aren't really too long or wide. So with the Alex 9 drawer, I probably can fit all of my blushes or majority instead of having two drawers. This is my second blush drawer. And I'm holding them, trying so they won't come out. So again, this is a mixture of cream and powder blushes. These are my bronzers and they are a mixture as well. So there's some Beauty Bay, Minted, uh, Sephora, Fenty, Elf. I can never think of the name of these. Alamar, that's the name. Um, I have a cream brush from She Glam, a uh, bronzer, not blush. And I think the some from Becca, LYS. These are 
highlighters. I have some Ofra, Fenty, Wet n Wild, mm, Elf, NK Makeup, Maybelline, Beauty Bay, Becca. I think those wet and wild. Uh, NYX, Natasha Denona. These are my blood, um, not blush, foundation sticks and uh, tube foundations that fit in here. I have some that I haven't even opened yet. And these are some more. These are just samples, but I have some Kiss Foundation, Maybelline Fit Me's, NYX, LYS, Milani. That's my backup of Sephora. And that's another NYX. Uh oh, sorry. Um, I have some acrylic. Uh, I think these are stackable too. And um, what do I have down here? Lord. Um, this is JCAT Beauty Blender ColourPop LA Colors Born This Way Too Faced Makeup Academy. This is really good. I haven't used the e.l.f. Oh, this is Catrice. But I haven't used this haven't even opened that yet um revolution these are maybelline dream liquid foundation i have some tinted moisturizer from ColourPop. um pro filter from fenty what are these oh this is morphe this is catrice um these this is elf these are powder that one's uh, Ruby Kisses. This is Milani. And this is a cream foundation from She Glam. Uh-oh. Okay. Whew. Okay, I had to catch my breath. <laughs> These are my lip products. So I have on this side. These are Stila. Maybelline Lifter Glosses, Fenty Balm. There's some. Um, these have a lip liner and lipstick on them. I bought those from Amazon. This is actually a purse, lipstick purse. The strap is on the inside. These are uh, LA Girl Matte, Absolute New York. These are some color pencils from ColourPop. That's from Elf. NYX Butter Glosses, um, NYX Milky Glosses, I have some NYX Lipsticks, those are some more Butter Glosses, oh Lord, this drawer, um, Morphe, yeah, Morphe, Elf, NARS, Revolution, those are Essence, those are Elf, remember who this one is by oh hard candy these are some of my bullet lipsticks i have some mac nika k maybelline wet and wild this is w7 and these uh lips right here is just the um, packaging that the w7 uh bullet lip gloss lipstick and lip liner came in and then on this side, I have um, the Milani, I think they call, I get this mixed up. No, 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 no. Okay, so these are just Milani lipsticks. These are the Milani fetish. Am I getting it right? I always say it wrong. I think they call Fetish Match. Oh, I forgot. I put the name on the screen, but I got a couple of those. These are lipsticks from Morphe. These are lip glosses from Crayon Case. 
uh, super, uh, Maybelline Super Stay. Um, Matte Ink. Juvia's Place. These are Milani Lip Glosses. These are Nika K. These three are Sephora. I think this one's Milani 2. Um, I think these are NYX Liquid Suede. Revlon Color Stay Ink. And these are some liquid cat suits from Wet n Wild. Some have been open, some are not. Um, some lip products from Laugh Out Loud. These are, this is Juvia's Place, Maybelline, uh, LA Colors. A couple of these are LA Colors and some are Wet n Wild. And that's a W7 gloss that came with the bullet lipstick inside of that lip um, lips package. These came from Shop Miss A. And these are Nika K. NK Makeup, so the same. Um, I can't remember. These I've had for a long time. I think I decluttered lip products sometime last year. And I swatched them and smelled them. And they still um, look good and smell good. So I still have them. But I've had them for a while. Down here are just some lip glosses or um, lip oils. I have some ColourPop. Becca NK Makeup. Burt's Bees. I don't like that one. I just still have it. Um, NK Makeup. This is Nika K. Who is this by? Poppy and Ivy. Um, this is the only thing I have from this brand. This um, lip tint is very pigmented. Okay, so those are all of the lip products. And then on this side, I have face palettes. So Sephora, Cara Beauty, BH Cosmetics, Beauty Bakery, Crayon Case, Revolution, Black Radiance, um, Morphe, Becca, I think that, what's this one? Uh, Perfusion. And then this starts my single eyeshadow palette. I do have a um, eyeshadow collection video two of them actually I'll link those down below um, I have a blush collection video bronzer highlight powders <laughs> pretty much my entire collection so I'll try to link those videos down not try I will link those videos down below if you are interested in them but this these are my smaller palettes And then just palettes that could not fit on the bookcase. Um, I actually have, I did a haul vi video a couple of days ago. So I have some more palettes that have to be put up. Um, this is a mixture because I have my, some most of my high-end products, um, eyeshadow palettes are in here. So I have some Ace Beauté, Huda Beauty, um, Pat McGrath, Dominique Cosmetics. What else? Uh, Violet Boss, Natasha Denona, um, Clarity Cosmetics, and I have a one size palette in there as well. I think this drawer is empty. Um, these are just extra brushes that I have. This goes to the brushes that I'm collecting, but it doesn't fit in that cup. Um, I love Real Technique brushes, so anytime I see them, I am definitely picking them up. So this is just a backup for brushes. These are lip products that um, I recently or purchased and haven't opened yet. So at some point of me purchasing makeup, I decided that I was going to stop opening things, especially if there were things that I have an excess of. Excess of like lip products 
so that's why <laughs> these are in here and they are not open as of yet a lot of these products i gift to others but i just put them in here just to try to keep things organized these are concealers um eyeshadow primers i actually used this once but it's not the right shade um what shade is it rich auburn yeah it's the wrong shade i have an extra brow fixer some razors a lash applicator so basically concealers and eye products and here i have a backup of um the essence mascara and the liner um uh, eyebrow pencils mascara um, auto liners, lash glue. That's pretty much what's in here. Um, colored liners. Yeah, that's what's in there for. Um, this is, and I have one of these in that um, face palette drawer. And I purchased another one because it was at a good price. And this one is cracked, but I decided not to use this one. To go ahead and use that one up um these are some blotting sheets that i purchased from shop miss a um eyebrow stencils and some mini applicators these are things that i am um gathering for my makeup class and this is just a little um it's not a mannequin but it's i guess it's a face mannequin <laughs> um Cause I can't think of what it's called, but it has, um, you're able to do the eye, the brows, the eyeshadow and the, a part of the, um, facial complexion products just for practice. This is a drawer with my additional powders. Um, this is a backup of the Becca Beauty Bay, not Beauty Bay, Beauty Bakery Revolution. NK Makeup, Milani Colourpop, Maybelline, Black Radiance, Elf. Um, I think that's Ruby Kisses back there. And that's Believe Beauty. These are some more um, bronzers. I think, yeah, bronzers. Um, Morphe, Becca, Elf, Revolution, Believe Beauty. Absolute New York, Laura Geller, and Black Radiance. These are primers. Uh oh, my phone is twisted. Um, so I have some Elf. I have some matte bron uh, matte, not bronzes, matte primers. Um, this is a um, what do you call it? Sample that i got from sephora um this is the ultra beauty one one from elf catrice this is tatcha milani um i have the elf cookies and dream that i haven't opened yet i have a holy hydration cleanser back there this is another one of the putty primers and this is the versed i don't know if it's first or versed um a cleaning balm And then up here, I have some more samples. Um, what else? Oh, some serums. This is what I use currently to clean my makeup off. It's the Milani uh, Green Goddess Makeup Melter. Um, I am almost um, done with this. So I use this with the uh, there's an oil under the same collection that I purchased. So um, this is a glow oil. So um, sometimes I use this in my makeup uh, routine before applying my makeup. Um, but not a lot. But it doesn't make you look good. Um, shiny too shiny with your makeup i think it just gives some hydration to your skin but i would put it on and wait 
a couple of minutes before applying everything else. And I wouldn't put this on um, in the summer. Um, I haven't used this yet, so I don't know <laughs> what it does, if it plumps, if it doesn't. Um, I have tried this Sephora Smooth and Blur. It was okay. I'm just finding that I really don't, well, that I prefer the um, tacky primers. Um, this is a primer and skin corrector. I think I only used this once. I need to try it again from Stila. This is a good primer. This NK24 Gold. I like that. Um, the Milani Rose Primer. I've used it a couple of times. Haven't really formed an opinion of it. This is good from Believe Beauty um, to moisturize. I have not used this that came in a boxy charm. Uh, this moisturizer exfoliate from Kate Somerville. I think I used it like once or twice. No opinion right now. And these two are OGs. Like the Dove and the Puns, they'll always be in my collection. So they're great. Um, what else? I think that's it. I think I let y'all all in my business today. So if you are um if you found the love for makeup and you're frustrated because you really don't have the space for it i started out doing my makeup in the bathroom from the bathroom in this corner here i had a old computer desk where i had some things that if i can find a picture i'll put a clip of it in here um but i was working from that computer desk just um enjoying my me time and then this just grew over time um I got most of these items during the pandemic because that was all I had to do was do makeup and buy makeup. So um, don't try to get everything all at once, you know, get it over a period of time. Try to find inexpensive things. Um, I know, what is it called? Um, Facebook Marketplace. I see them selling uh, vanity desks and things like that all the time. So just do your searching around before just buying something. Like I said, I think I'm going to replace this um, Adeptus cart, but it has served its purpose so far. I'm just out. I've outgrown it. So I just need the extra space. Um, but yeah, that's my makeup collection. This is my makeup area. And... I make the best of it you know i'm deciding i've decided that i'm not gonna um add anything like in this area or just trying to make it be too much because even though this seems organized to most um it seems unorganized to me but i'm doing the best that i can to keep up with the products that i have and again i seriously need to do um a declutter i do have a lot of things that i haven't even had the opportunity to try yet so I am working towards doing that this year. But that is all that I have for you all today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. See you later.